Welcome to the wonderful world of chemistry. Today, with the help of the artificial sea set by Mel Chemistry, we will grow chemical seaweed. Perform this experiment on a plastic tray to contain any possible spills. Don't forget to put on protective gloves and goggles before doing the experiment. To open a bottle containing a reagent, push the cap down and turn it. For the chemical seaweed experiment, you will need 100 milliliters of water in the beaker, ferrous sulfate, potassium ferrocyanide, copper sulfate, and zinc sulfate. You will also need a plastic stirring rod and a measuring spoon. In a beaker with water, add two big spoonfuls of potassium ferrocyanide and stir the mixture with the stirring rod until the potassium ferrocyanide is dissolved. Next, take a bottle of copper sulfate and pour a little powder into the beaker. Repeat the same with both ferrous sulfate and zinc sulfate in different places in the beaker. Leave the reaction mixture for 20 to 30 minutes. During this time, chemical seaweed will grow in the beaker. The seaweed is very fragile, so do not shake, bump, or disturb the beaker in any way during the experiment. When copper, zinc, and iron sulfates are added to a solution of potassium ferrocyanide, they react to form hexacyanoferrates, which are water-insoluble salts. It is these salts which form the interesting structures that resemble seaweed. Copper hexacyanoferrate is brown, while ferrous hexacyanoferrate is blue. Consequently, a color change can be observed during the experiment for these two salts. Zinc hexacyanoferrate remains colorless, and therefore no color change is observed. Learn more about this experiment on our Mel Science website.